In a world where technology has consumed every aspect of life, a lone figure awakens in a cramped apartment. As he rises from his slumber, the sun slowly creeps over the horizon, casting a bleak glow on the sprawling metropolis outside. The protagonist John stirs in his bed, groggily opening his eyes to the dimly lit room. The soft hum of machinery fills the air, punctuated by the distant chimes of an alarm clock. He rubs the sleep from his eyes and sits up, stretching his arms above his head. John trudges downstairs, his footsteps echoing in the silence of the empty apartment. The walls are adorned with flickering screens, their colors bleached by the sterile fluorescent lighting that bathes every surface. He stops at the kitchen, pours himself a bowl of milk, and adds a handful of cereal from a nearby box. As he eats his breakfast, John skims the newspaper headlines on his comm screen, his eyes scanning over the reports of corporate scandals, cyber attacks, and social unrest. The world outside his window is a bleak and oppressive place, where the divide between the haves and have nots grows ever wider. John finishes his breakfast and heads out into the city, navigating through the crowded streets filled with towering skyscrapers and neon advertisements. The air is thick with the smells of pollution and garbage, muffled by a constant drizzle that seems to shroud everything in a grey haze. As he walks, John can't help but feel a sense of hopelessness creeping over him. The world has become a soulless machine, churning out products and consumers alike with no regard for the consequences. He wonders if there's any way to escape this never-ending cycle of monotony and find meaning in a world that seems devoid of it. John reaches his destination, a small underground cafe tucked away in a hidden alleyway. Inside, he finds a group of like-minded individuals gathered around a table, discussing the latest developments in their fight against the oppressive regime that controls everything. They welcome him with open arms, and for a brief moment, John feels a glimmer of hope that things might change after all. As he listens to their conversations and plans for revolution, John realizes that change won't come easy. The forces of oppression are too powerful, entrenched in every aspect of society. But he also knows that he can't give up, not when there are still people fighting for a better world. He joins them, adding his voice to the chorus of dissent, determined to make a difference no matter how small it may seem. As the sun sets over the dystopian city, casting a dim light on the landscape, John and his comrades continue their work knowing that the road ahead will be long and arduous. But they also know that they're not alone, that there are others out there who share their vision of a better world, and that together, they can make it happen. What is the main theme of the passage? The main theme of the passage is the bleakness and oppression of a dystopian society, where technology has consumed every aspect of life, and the divide between the haves and have-nots grows ever wider. What is John's mood as he navigates through the city? John's mood is one of hopelessness and despair as he navigates through the crowded streets filled with towering skyscrapers and neon advertisements. The air is thick with pollution and garbage, and the constant drizzle seems to shroud everything in a grey haze. What does John find when he reaches his destination? When John reaches the underground cafe tucked away in a hidden alleyway, he finds a group of like-minded individuals gathered around a table, discussing the latest developments in their fight against the oppressive regime that controls everything. They welcome him with open arms, and John feels a glimmer of hope that things might change after all. What is the significance of the newspaper headlines on John's comm screen? The newspaper headlines on John's comm screen highlight the corporate scandals, cyber attacks, and social unrest that are indicative of a dystopian society where technology has consumed every aspect of life. These headlines serve as a reminder of the oppressive regime that controls everything and the divide between the haves and have-nots that grows ever wider. What is John's determination at the end of the passage? At the end of the passage, John is determined to make a difference, no matter how small it may seem. He joins his comrades in their fight against the oppressive regime and continues to work towards a better world, even though he knows that the road ahead will be long and arduous.